Hi, I'm Shayla with Revolting Science Resources, a company designed to bring the principles of project management to academic scientists. And today I'm excited to introduce the RSR Lab Notion template, a lab management system I've been developing over the past few months. The RSR Lab Notion template consolidates everything your lab needs all in one place. It includes a digital lab notebook, team information, policies, protocols, and so much more. Managing a lab can be really challenging when all the information you need is scattered among various platforms and software. Without a centralized system, each lab member may organize their research differently or store it in various places. And that makes it really hard to transfer knowledge between scientists. The RSR Lab Notion template is designed to streamline your lab's management process and help you stay organized, efficient, and focused on research. This template operates within Notion, which is a highly customizable productivity software that functions kind of like Lego blocks. You can build it to fit your lab specific needs using pre-made elements that you can rearrange to create a management system that works for you. One of the reasons I really love Notion is because it's so highly customizable. And with the RSR Lab Notion template, I've essentially just created a Lego kit for academic labs where all the foundational pieces are ready for you and that saves you time and effort designing it from scratch. You still though have the freedom to customize this template to suit your lab's unique needs. And that sets it apart from some of the other lab notebooks or management systems that currently exist. So in this video series, I'm gonna be walking you through some of the features of the RSR Lab Notion template. Although I'm not going to discuss pricing on my YouTube channel, you are welcome to visit my website at the link in the description box below. And there you can find some more details about this template and how to purchase it. What I will tell you now though, is that unlike other lab management software, the RSR Lab Notion template is actually available as a one-time purchase. So there's none of those recurring subscription fees. And also if you're concerned about the cost of adding Notion on top of this template, most labs actually can access Notion for free. So there's already a free version of Notion, but Notion also offers a plus plan at no cost to educators and academics through the Notion for Education program. So with an eligible.edu email address, you can likely access the plus plan of Notion for free which makes this template even more accessible by not requiring a recurring subscription cost. And so with that intro to the RSR Lab Notion template, I'd like to actually share a video from the setup course that comes included with the purchase of this template. This particular video actually walks you through the layout of the dashboard, which essentially serves as like the home screen for your Lab Notion template, and then talks a little about the rationale behind why I designed the dashboard the way that I did. So with that, let's get started. Welcome to the Revolting Science Resources Lab Notion. In this video, I'll talk about the purpose of this template and the reasons behind some of the choices I've made when designing it. In the following videos, I'll walk through every page of your new Lab Notion template. I'll also delve into some additional educational content about the project management features that this template draws upon. This is your lab dashboard and serves as a homepage for all of the different information that will live in your lab's Notion workspace. I designed this dashboard to minimize overwhelm while still allowing all lab members to have easy access to the information they need for their research. My recommendation is to keep the pages along the side and the information in the middle of the dashboard as slim as possible. You don't wanna overwhelm your lab members, but you do wanna help them identify where the information lives that they need. You'll notice that there are many pages with different sections. For example, the lab inventory and storage page includes sections for ordering reagents and supplies, the full reagent supply inventory, and sample storage. As you make edits or add information, I recommend keeping as few pages as possible and including more sections within each page. This reduces overwhelm and makes it clear where each lab member needs to go. There will also be informational videos that walk through some of the project management principles built into this dashboard, especially on the lab projects page and the sprint database page. Although some concepts may be new, I put a lot of thought and care into making them relevant to academic scientific research. My recommendation is to learn about these project management principles from the included videos and share them with your lab. Try it out for two months, and after that, it will be clear what changes might need to be made. I advise against making large, immediate changes, as it's better to try it and then make specific tweaks, rather than making big changes and later realizing some key pieces of the framework were essential. I highly encourage you to set up every page as much as possible before adding any information. This includes going through each page, database, and template to ensure key language or information is included. Note that changes made to templates after creation won't update existing content, so it's more efficient to set everything up beforehand. 
The lab projects and sprint database pages draw from real project management principles, primarily from agile project management and specifically Scrum methodology. I've adapted Scrum to better suit an academic science environment. If you'd like to learn more, I'll include a link in the description box below to a book written by the creators of Scrum, but there will also be some informational videos included in this setup course. Overall, I hope this dashboard provides a clear and easy way for your lab to access all the information needed for their research. If you're daunted by the concept of Notion, know that it can be overwhelming at first. My recommendation is to try out the templates as they are, make only necessary changes, and just give it a try. Learning Notion comes with time, and if you need to build something specific, there are many helpful resources available. As a reminder, your time is incredibly valuable. So while you could spend a lot of time learning how to create various things in Notion, I've already spent that time learning these skills while creating this template. To save yourself time, it can be worth getting assistance or delegating the creation of things to someone with the necessary skills. This doesn't have to be me, but I'm happy to discuss any customizations or additional pages you might need for your Notion dashboard. In this video, I will walk you through your new dashboard and highlight some key features of Notion. On your lab dashboard, you'll have all the links to various pages within your workspace along the left sidebar. In future videos, we will explore each of these pages in more detail. In the main part of your Notion dashboard, you'll see an announcement section. You can create a new announcement by clicking this new announcement button. This will generate a new toggle that starts with today's date, which you can edit. You can then add a header for your announcement, similar to an email subject line, and include more details within the toggle. You can also use small phrases like urgent, please read, or change the color of announcements to signify urgency. Under the announcement section, you have three different sections for submitting a weekly plan, ordering reagents, and requesting lab maintenance. These sections were selected because of the frequency of how often these tasks are completed, and because the linked pages include more information than just specific actions like ordering reagents or supplies. You can always edit these sections and select different items you'd like to include as key pages for quick access. The lab calendar section currently displays an embedded Notion calendar. You can replace this by embedding any calendar you'd like, but my personal recommendation is to keep the Notion calendar and ensure all relevant Google calendars are shared with lab members and integrated into the Notion calendar. This Notion specific calendar allows real-time edits within Notion and integrates with individual lab members' Google calendars. At the top, you have access to different pages, including team, research, and policy pages. This feature is useful for quickly seeing when pages were last edited and navigating to specific pages. You can always return to the main dashboard by using the breadcrumbs at the top of any page. The search function allows you to search across your entire workspace. For example, typing lab members will direct you to the lab members page. You can also search for specific entries. A search feature is also present in your Notion sidebar. To share your Notion workspace, click Share and send out emails or add contacts from Slack. You can edit member settings, manage access to pages, remove or upgrade members, as well as add members from the sidebar by going to Settings and Members, clicking People, and then making the desired changes. In the sidebar, you have access to your Notion calendar and a Help and Support button, which is useful for getting documentation on specific aspects of Notion. When lab members tag you or mention your name, notifications will appear in the inbox. Some additional page features I'll highlight now include viewing all comments and updates on various pages, favoriting pages for easier access, changing font and text settings, duplicating, moving, viewing, edit history, and managing pages, and locking pages to prevent accidental edits. Simply unlock the page to make necessary changes. My personal recommendation is to lock all pages that are not frequently edited by lab members. You can add links, comments, and suggest edits by highlighting text and selecting the desired options. Comments can also be added on individual pages, except for the dashboard homepage. So that's it for this video, sharing a little more about the RSR Lab Notion template and showing you the dashboard as well as some of the rationale behind why I designed it the way I did. If your lab could use a comprehensive lab management system and you're interested in getting more information about the RSR Lab Notion template, I'd recommend heading to the website that's linked in the description box below where you can get more information, ask questions, or schedule a live demo. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get notifications about some of the other videos that will be released, especially related to this series on the RSR Lab Notion template, feel free to subscribe to this channel. That's all for now, and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye.